what's up guys and welcome back to the channel tonight we're out here on the pier gonna be doing a little bit of fishing um got the 12 foot surf rods with us and uh me and Leonard, we're gonna try to do everything we can to catch something you know i really target any certain type of species just whatever bites we got a little bit of bait fish for bait and we got a couple bait rods down here with us so we'll see what happens see if we can catch in something but this is uh night number one of our gulf shore fishing trip so we'll see if we can catch Right, guys so for bait we got some little croakers and uh some pinfish that we call just going to use a seven aught eagle claw laser sharp unfortunately i did not bring my trophy cat tackle um hooks down i ran off forgot them but got 80 pound leader line two ounce egg sinker and then uh 80 pound braid i don't like using braid but they say that it's good for the fish down here so This is my 12 foot Akuma Laundry 2 rod with a Akuma Classic CLX reel. The only thing is this, this reel that I've done to this reel is I have taken the level line out of it. I have taken the level line out of it. So now it's basically like a um, non-level line um, reel. So we'll see what happens guys. We're gonna bomb this one out that way. Land's gonna bomb one out this way, and I'm gonna bomb another one straight out that way. We'll have three big rods out, and we'll just fish around. That's what you're talking about. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's been in the 12 foot circle. I said it's one of those sharp, hard shell catfish. Things, they ain't got no light over here. If you can fight them over here. I ain't shot, they ain't a catfish. He's a gentleman. I don't know. That wasn't him. That came right there. Right here. Right here. That's a big one. We forgot that daggone stringer, Lenny. Yeah, what's it all? Okay. All righty, guys. First fish. Good old saltwater catfish. That's probably real. That's a really good size one for the size that they get. Right there is probably about as big as they get. But look at that bad boy. They've got another one that's called a gap top sack catfish. The gap top ones have a long uh, pet, uh, whatever this fan's called, that comes off the top of them. But wow, not a bad fish to start the night with. First one, boys. I need to get my other rod out there, guys. Oh, sorry. This is a uh, 12 foot pin per bill two spinning rod that I've got here so we're gonna take this bad boy and launch it out there too this has got the same setup on it as the uh, my other one does my setup's this up all right guys fish number one down boys fish number one of the trip down well that's not really fish number one me and Landon you guys see in a pre in a, another cooking video that we're gonna do uh we caught those uh two fish that we caught today the lady fish and uh regular salt or saltwater catfish out in the surf we was wanting to bring you guys with us but um wasn't really sure about getting the uh, camera wet so we'll get that figured out eventually 
and be able to bring you guys out there. We was waiting about chest deep water to out there fishing in the surf today. Like I said, this a lot of fishing coming up, guys. A lot of fishing. So I hope you guys are ready. Make sure you all subscribe. And if you already watched that video, you know that we are doing a 500 subscriber giveaway in that video. So you tell everyone about it. 500 subscribers and we'll be doing a giveaway. So now I gotta watch this rod and uh, we'll see what happens guys. So fish number one on the board. There's another one boys. I don't know. This one feels like he's got a little bit more fight to him than the other one, but I don't know yet. Yeah, it looks like. Nah, I think that's good. Okay. Oh, well, I just got another hit. Alright guys, so, another one. Lennon, where's that pulling? Tighten it up, yeah. He's on there, probably. I don't know how hard he hit it the first time. Alright guys, so, there's another one. Another little bitty guy. But hey, Hey, he's oh, alrighty, guys. So, there's just two fish so far. We're still not dumb. We just left the pier because we couldn't. We didn't have no luck over there. We're about to make a run over to the beach side to catch some fish. Hopefully, there. We're gonna see what the waves look like. See how that all looks out. But hopefully, we get in some monster fish here. Alrighty, guys. So nothing at the beach. Um, really didn't get a chance to try. We need to fix some weights up to hold down a little bit better um but we'll figure that out tomorrow so uh we're gonna hit the hay we'll see you guys in the morning uh we're gonna try it so we'll bring you guys along with us there so see you guys in the morning when we get up probably about 4 4 30 we're gonna try to walk over here and fish out in the middle of this on this sandbar so see you guys in the morning all right guys, <coughs> all right, guys. so as you can tell me and Lennon did not get up again this morning to go so we two fish from last night we're gonna clean up I never ate these saltwater catfish before. Uh, well, I have in a previous, last year we ate them down here. But uh, they taste pretty good. Most people call them trash fish. But we'll try it all out here. We're going to clean these bad boys up just like you would a normal catfish and make that decision. I was debating on the meat was still going to be good or not because of how long I waited to clean them just the following afternoon from last night. So bam. And voila. So we'll run those out there and throw those away to the trash can. But these plays are going to go back home with us. And we're going to do a comparison video, so stick around for this video. We're going to compare freshwater catfish to saltwater catfish. I know the fillets on freshwater catfish are way bigger, but that's the game plan. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to see that video coming up. I just want to thank you guys for watching. Don't, don't, don't forget that we got our 500 subscriber giveaway coming up soon. So make sure you tell all your friends, subscribe, and as always, guys, God bless. But let's close out here with a prayer real quick. Lord, thank you for this 
wonderful thing, wonderful day life you bless us with, Lord. Thank you for allowing us to go fishing. Thank you for all your creation that you created for us, Lord. Thank you for everything that you do for us, Lord. Thank you for these wonderful days that you bless us with down here on the boat, on the coast. And as always, God, uh, God, thank you for sending your son Jesus God here on the cross with us. Amen. Alright guys, so as always guys, God bless. Live life to the fullest. We'll see you in the next one.